Many thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. Good day everyone and welcome back to DX Explorer for another video. Today we're going to do part 3 of the mini whip antenna video. Uh, I'm kind of excited. I'm back in the Choklovina Scout Center with a beautiful view, especially after two days of continuous rain. But still it was nice because it was uh, nice and foggy over here. So I've been waiting for that for like two weeks uh, to do some uh, good photography. But uh, yeah, the rain stopped and I decided to film a video really quick. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to do a quick and uh, temporary antenna installation. Again, temporary over here as well. We'll talk a little bit later um, for you to understand why it's temporary. But anyway, I'm kind of excited. The PCB boards are ready. Um, I uh, finished doing the PCB board design both for the mini whip antenna and also for the BIST. Uh, you will have a link in the video description and I also put the, the link in the video description on part one and part two of the uh, videos from this mini series about the mini whip um, antenna. But of course I cannot continue with this video without saying thank you to my friends at PCB Way for sponsoring this video and always supporting the DX Explorer channel. Remember they have great PCB prototyping services, CNC, 3D printing, SMD stencils and a lot more services available for you. Remember that uh, you can always order any of the PCB boards uh, designed uh, that I'm presenting here in the video by going in the video description and you will always find a link if the PCB board design is available over there. Also in the video description you'll find the link that will take you to the registration page where you can register as a new account on PCB Way and you'll get a discount on your first order. Remember they also have a great store with a bunch of uh, interesting things that you might find very useful for your projects. So I would always recommend you to try and see if you can order both from the module store and also uh, ordering your PCB boards so you can receive everything in one package. As I'm always saying, PCB way is the way. So anyway, right now basically I promised that I'm going to talk really quick about um, uh, what we're doing here. So we spent the last two weeks um, working on the roof, trying to fix one of the, the, the roofs here on the um, houses before winter comes because uh, you know the snow gets heavy and then the roof might fall. So we ended up working and spending a lot of time to, uh, to fix that. Uh, the plan for me and uh, for my friend German over here, the, the owner of the scout camp, was that uh, we wanted to uh, finish um, repairing one of the little houses over here and transform it into some sort of technical room or more like a radio room and put a bunch of equipment over there. Unfortunately, um, yeah, the roof was more um, important and more uh, um, urgent. So <laughs> we started working on that and probably will continue uh, fixing the little house a little bit later and transform it in a little uh, radio room. Today we're going to get the materials we need to, to do the grounding and we'll do a special grounding for the uh, radio as well. And we, I'm, I'm going to use that one for the mini whip antenna. So probably if today uh, the antenna might not perform as I'm expecting to, to um, perform, just because it doesn't have a proper grounding, uh, later on I'll probably leave a comment um, down below um, um, in this video. And for sure, when I'm going to write the blog article, I'm going to write about this as well into the blog article and let you know about how it performs uh, with a proper grounding comparing to probably right now when it's a, just a temporary installation um, we'll do it uh, without, uh, without any grounding at all. Basically, the idea for me is that I have to install the antenna in the attic. Um, I'll show you where, uh, probably you can see it on the screen by now, um, where I did the um, antenna connection for the end-fed half-wave antenna, which goes all the way up at, uh, on the fence uh, by the hill. And uh, that one seems to be like a really nice setup because it's really easy to take down for when uh, the times where we're not here. And uh, this one I know is recommended to place it somewhere a little bit higher, but um, we're trying to keep this place as genuine as possible and as original and traditional as possible. So I'm trying to hide this one somewhere in the attic. So hopefully it will perform um, at least decent, even though it's in the attic and it's not that uh, high on top of the roof. 
But considering there are no metallic objects into the attic and it's basically just wood and um, uh, tiles, hopefully it will uh, it will work well. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, let's install it really quick. I have to prepare some coax cable, do all the connections, uh, probably take this one and put it in the attic. And uh, let's see how it performs. And we're going to test everything on the Yaetsu FRG7 because that's the only receiver that I have available over here at this point. All right, so freezing cold <laughs> uh, in here, but I managed to install the um, yeah, it's a FRG7 uh, really quick here outside on the table. A temporary setup, as I was saying, uh, just to test the mini whip antenna here up uh, in the attic. Uh, I managed to install it um, in a temporary place, probably will put it uh, somewhere um, in the other side of, uh, of the little house. Um, that we're planning to transform into a radio room later on. Um, here I have the power supply. Uh, right now I'm powering the uh, BIST with 13.8 uh, volts. I have the BIST over here. It's on with the LED light. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's giving me 12 volts uh, at the antenna. So uh, it's all powered up and I'm curious to see if I receive something. The weather is not great, so I'm guessing the propagation might be the same, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, at least maybe I get to receive something. Oh, nice. Right now I'm on the on 20 meter band. Very nice. Let me go a little further and see if we can receive some digital signals, those we always hear. I hear some other weak uh, CW signal. I'm not sure if you can hear it, if my microphone can pick it up. Yep, digital signals. <laughs> this work. They're pretty strong. Let's see if we get some SSB. Very nice. So Italy, Italian station, let's go a little further. This one's a little weak. I can't hear this station properly. Maybe if I put some headphones. This sounds like Russian or Ukrainian, one of them. Italy comes really great. It's very strange. It's really cloudy here, so I was not expecting this. Oh, 
Really beautiful. So I'm happy. And think about it, the antenna has no grounding. It's inside the like under the roof. It's not on top of the roof as it should be like clear of all the object, objects. So it's not bad at all. So uh, thanks so much for watching, I guess that's it for today, interesting results with the mini whip antenna. I'm just going to stay here a little bit more to really enjoy the view um, for a bit and after that I'm going to go and get my uh, luggage ready. Uh, we're preparing to go down into the city for a little bit uh, so I can actually uh, edit this video and uh, see if I can get a faster internet connection so we can load it uh, before uh, the evening comes and after that we'll come back after doing a little bit of shopping uh, for the stuff that we need here so uh, yeah I'm excited to get home probably at the end of the week um, my package from PCB Way arrived <laughs> and uh, um, I'm kind of excited because I ordered the PCB board for this mini whip antenna and uh, I'm excited to build the final version for myself and also probably I'll build another one like a proper version for Choclovina as well that it will replace the one that we just installed right now but I'm trying to order the, the original transistors and uh, see if I get a better performance with those anyway so far I'm pretty excited about this little antenna I was really not expecting uh, results um, as good as they are so again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, so far, uh, go back a little bit and uh, watch part one and part two of this video, uh, mini video series about the mini whip antenna. And probably pretty soon I will end up writing a blog article where I'm going to put a little bit more details and impressions about how the antenna might perform um, after we're going to do the, the grounding of the antenna uh, later on this week. So again, thank you for watching, um, wishing you an amazing rest of the week and uh, until next time, 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo.